I just got to my first ultrasound appointment and I'm excited to bring you along with me. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I recently shared that I'm pregnant and I'm about 11 weeks about today and I'm actually getting finally my first ultrasound. I have definitely some nerves. I just have my, I think my anxiety because I'm off my medicine is like making all of the worst possible thoughts run through my head. So I'm hoping that after this appointment, I'll be able to share some good news with you. And if they allow me to videotape it, I will include some footage as well. So I'm gonna go in and get checked in and all that stuff. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay guys, so I was not able to record unfortunately, but I did see the little baby's heartbeat. There was only one, no twin surprise or anything like that. And uh, it was like kicking his or her little legs and like I saw the little arm move. So I have three pictures here to show you guys. And one of them was not what I expected it to be. So here's the first little one. Here's my little nugget. His or her head is right here with the body and like the little nubs for legs or whatever. So looks pretty normal to me. I think this one is a pretty similar picture. I think it is the profile of the baby, but I can't really tell. This one though, I was thinking it was like the profile, but this is actually the baby like looking at the camera. <laughs> it's a little weird. Um, so we got like the eyes, the mouth, the chest, and then this is like the little hand. So it looks a little bit like an alien, but uh, yeah, we got this little one looking right at the camera. I have my first like doctor appointment next week. So today was just like the sizing ultrasound. And then next week I will meet with the doctor and talk about like how this baby is measuring and when they predict that the due date is. I don't know if I've said this in the past, but like my average cycle is 30 days, but it ranges from like 25 to 35 days each you know month. So based on that prediction, I'm anticipating my due date will be January 5th but they usually go off of like a 28 day cycle. So that could go like January 3rd, which is my dad's birthday. So um, we'll see. I'm excited to see like how my prediction compares to the ultrasound measurements and all of that stuff. But yeah, I'm like excited to, I don't know, hear the heartbeat. I wasn't able to hear the heartbeat there. So I'm guessing that they'll do that at like the doctor's appointment and not just the you know sizing ultrasound and then we'll have an appointment each month. So I'll keep you guys informed and I'll let you guys know how that appointment goes and if there's anything of concern to bring up. But I'd like to thank you guys for joining me on this little tiny journey today. Uh, sorry that I couldn't, I wasn't able to get footage of the actual like video ultrasound. I thought that would have been cool, but I was not allowed to. So I'm a rule follower. I wasn't gonna sneak one unfortunately. <laughs> okay guys, so I thought I would just add this video onto the one I previously filmed because it's not going to take that long. I just got done with my like first doctor's appointment following the ultrasound and um, they told me that I am 11 weeks, five days today. So I was 11 one on the day of my ultrasound and that the heartbeat was 174 at the ultrasound and 160 today, and they said those are both very strong. So I'm feeling very good, uh, very relieved. And I had a good talk with my the nurse practitioner today about like my delivery fears and things like that. And I know I'm probably gonna repeat the same type of story with the doctors once I meet them and get to know them. So I don't know, I'm just feeling pretty good. Had my blood drawn, labs done, and. I'm just excited for this next stage. I'm hoping to get a little bit more energy back. I'm not feeling as tired, but still tired. And apparently all of the symptoms that would normally come a little later on come earlier with subsequent pregnancies. So I have like waking up like three or four times each night. I'm like, man, really? Like I'm not even in my second trimester yet. Why is all this happening? But apparently it's normal, so. That's kind of my little update and then I'll have another appointment in a month. If you guys want to know kind of how I'm going to treat this pregnancy differently or things like that, let me know and I'll make a video on that. And yeah, thanks for watching and following along and 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys are new, and I'd love to have you stick around, and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.